hello welcome so we can see that we've already cloned the app uh, so the app has been cloned then if you now click on this front end you see it now has content before it used to be empty if you click on the back end you see there's nothing in the back end but if you click on the front end there is something there because it now has something so once that is done we can now move forward with our coding because we've cloned the front end angular app we've been able to clone it from the github so we now have the file so if you scroll up you're gonna see the instruction that helps us to clone it and the instruction simply says git clone and that's why we downloaded git because we want to use git commands so we say git please help us and clone the front end app dot git that is in this web uh, github address github slash open classroom student center and when you clone it please put it in the folder front end put it in this front end folder that's the instruction so when you press the enter key it will start cloning so once it is done cloning it will now bring you back to this place so now we are going to start we are going to go to the uh, front end and look at the code so how do we do that we simply say cd you cd into the front end so that's the first thing we do so we cd to the front end so that means you should take us to the directly of the front end it should take us to this very inside this directly because we are currently in the general directly known as dev c hyphen pruj so but we want to get into this directly so once you do cd space front end that is the instruction and you press the enter key it will take us there you can see when you check this directly the directory address you will now see that it's reading desktop dev c slash front end that means we are now in front end this is where we are now so since we are now in the front end what do we want to do we want to do npm install so that we can install all the dependencies that comes with this uh this web app since we did not do it by ourselves this front end wants all the dependencies that are necessary for the app to work well to be installed so we we'll give the simple instruction known as npm install so we simply say npm install that is the instruction so once you do that you press the enter key so the node package manager npm is what you use for installations so once you do that npm install you now wait it's going to install all the dependencies so you find out that when you install all the dependencies you can now use another command known as ng serve to serve your web app so that we can see the angular web app and see the way it is looking then from there we'll now move into our node.js and we'll continue coding node.js so i'm gonna give a little while for this installation to happen then after the installation must have happened then we can continue thank you